While the frame is a vital element of the Corvette, the body panels create the Stingray's distinctive look. Here, a worker loads a set of panels onto a carrier. The carrier moves at a speed programmed to keep up with the pace of production. At the priming booth entrance, a reader scans the unique barcode located on each carrier and sends the information to a computer, which tells the robots what to do. In just two and a half minutes, they prime the entire set of panels. The panels then head across the hall into a giant oven where they will bake for 30 minutes at a temperature of 126 degrees Celsius. After that, the panels will receive a base coat in one of 10 different colors, followed by a clear coat. Finally, they arrive here where a team of technicians inspect the surfaces and correct any defects with sanders and polishers. The paint shop also handles another process called sonic welding. Here, a worker positions the Corvette emblem in a fixture, then lays the car's fascia on top. He inserts composite brackets into the fascia. The fascia and the brackets, which are made of a material called thermoplastic polyolefin, or TPO, form the nose of the car. These brackets will provide locating points for the headlight installation. Once they're installed, the worker clamps them in place. A robotic arm begins the ultrasonic welding process. This means it uses high-frequency sound waves to melt the bracket onto the fascia at specified weld points. These sound waves are inaudible. There are 25 weld points for this part. The robot completes its task in just three minutes, perfectly bonding the brackets and the emblem to the panel.